All right, I thought Brock Purdy played special last night versus the Seahawks. He's 4-0 or 5-0 versus him, including the playoffs. And play three in the game. This just shows, like, his legs. He's become one of the better, and we'll get through the whole progression, but he's become one of the better scrambling quarterbacks in the entire league. He's throwing the ball down the field. He's first in completed air yards per attempt in the NFL. And I've seen him extend plays and that's what makes a defense scared in my opinion i thought the seattle seahawks didn't play very well on offense and you got you look like you got people running into each other like it's pretty simple it's it's brandon Ayuk on a cross you got a corner route and you're supposed to have this like option route to break out so it should be one to two and man to man he's going to hit brandon Ayuk. Okay, let's watch his eyes, but everything down here. Okay, Debo can't get released. He's supposed to have the corner. I think that's Jennings. He's supposed to have the out route, nothing there. I saw this a lot too. They were playing safeties over number three receivers in these one by three looks, because that's Kittle right there. It's an interesting way to play them, and, and I don't know if you'd really match up, because this is man. All right, Kittle's on the on a little out route. Um, but it looks to me like Brock's reading it Right. I mean, he's going to the man side, right? You have Kittle on this bite route and you have Ayuk right here. Watch his eyes. All right. One, two, three, nothing there. Maybe Kittle, but he's already off him to Ayuk and the safety right here is already closing. Not open, not open, not open. A lot of guys not open. That's sort of been the Achilles heel this year for the San Francisco offense. If you just play man against him in a pass in a known passing down when he's dropping back, I mean, this is third and two. They've, they've had a hard time beating it, but I mean, this is, this is high IQ right here to just take it off. Got the first down running. <clears throat> Kittle missed some Jordan Mason missed some. Ayuk's finally looking fresh. Didn't get a lot of opportunities, but that's one thing too. This is a pretty good, um, pocket for the most part all night. And when a quarterback has a good pocket, he's going to take full advantage of it. Okay. He's trying to hit Ayuk right there, but it's not right there. He goes to Kittle next on the stop route. You see him look right there. Okay. Nothing there. Really good feel in the pocket. He's gotten to calm down a lot in the pocket like this feel right here to do this. Yeah. And then to break a tackle on 17, Nice first down, Brock freaking Purdy. I love it. All right, I put this on here just because I thought it, was, thought it was nice. All right, everyone has been running with this offset back. They've been running tush push. They don't really quarterback sneak it. So what they're going to do is they're going to fake this sweep, which a lot of people are running. And I want you to watch Debo right here because Debo ends up getting the ball. Watch him stock block right there. Right there, just enough, like he's cracking the linebacker. 21 has him man-to-man. -man. He fills the run with this nice play action. You got juice cutting. You got a guard pull. I mean, everything screams this way. And you end up throwing this over route to beat Debo Samuel. Not a lot to break down here, but um, not even a good throw, but a really good catch by Debo. Debo had himself a hell of a game. Watch Juice, though. Like, Juice doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion. All right. Bow! Got to get lower. Then the lowest to crack block, and I want to show this view of it, all right, because this catch is awesome. So just a huge fake. Once again, watch 44 juice right there. Okay, they're even pulling the uh, left guard. Boom. Oh, that's got to hurt. I do not envy fullbacks. All right, and a nice job right here. You got two dudes, okay, throwing it, all right, but very behind him could have been picked because if this ball flies it flies right into his hand so not only did he save an interception but he made a hell of a circus catch right there that's pretty good right there love that Debo played really well this is a true Shanahan offense motion shift shift to motion tight formations I mean they they put it all on display second and five right here you got Debo in the backfield Here's what I've noticed a lot more about this offense. Way less play action this year than other years past and just under center drop back. It's like Shanahan's trying to bring back under center play because they do this a lot where they offset the back and it just doesn't make 
a whole lot of sense. But it's working for them. And then look, scrambling, finding Jennings. Like, I love it. This is such a good, good play, such a good route. So what you have here is you have a corner route and you have Debo on an option you can break in or out. Then you have a reverse nod, like pipe route by Kittle. And then you have a corner stop. So it looks to me in two high safety, they're telling him to read here to there to the flat. Um, let's see where he goes with his eyes. Okay, he's actually looking up top. So I'm good with that. So uh, they're reading one to two. Thought if he was in gun, he could probably see this a little bit more and hit that corner out. But then he gets all the way back to his third progression to Kittle. Kittle's open or um, not open. And then just like, this has got to be so frustrating for a defense. Man. Nice play by Jennings, too. Let's see if we can get a back view right here. Yep. Debo with the pink cleats. Going to go in this little motion offset right there. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Thought this should be a seven-step drop because he's still in a corner from under center. And then the check down choice. So Debo's one. Ayuk's two. Kittle's three. Doesn't want to take that. But look at his fill in the pocket. He feel, somehow, this is the second time he does it. Goes up, up, no, out. Has he been watching some Patrick Mahomes film or something? Like, what in the world? A really good throw right here. Like, this is, can't get out. Find someone open, let it rip. He's got the sidearm stuff. Looks like a different quarterback this year in all the good ways. Next play. Oh, this is sweet. All right, this is the Debo touchdown. We'll run it first. Talk through it. Okay. They're in like a quarters look up top with a linebacker. He's lucky he underthrew it because that is what helped. You're not catching Debo. That is what helped him take it to the house. All right. So a lot going on. You got left guard pulling. You got juice coming back. You got heavy play action. Okay. All that to say they're in base defense. Linebacker, 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 three down linemen. Okay. So what they have, they have a slot formation. It's a one by three slot. And you got a bunch of 21 personnel. I, I thought that Kyle Shanahan wanted to keep these guys in base defense. And one by three, you know, if this will is walked, it's probably quarters. Here's the quarter safety to this side. Okay. You're going to have a wrap route, which is a six step. And I want you to watch Debo. He sort of comes off lazily, turns up and goes out. And the reason he comes off lazy, he's trying to get this corner right here to attach to this receiver and to not come off in the deep quarters, which he has. So he has that quarters. This safety has this quarters. This safety has this quarters. This corner has this quarters. So that's why they call it quarters coverage. They have quarters of the field. But watch Debo right here. Lulls him to sleep. Okay, this linebacker loses him. No way he can run with it. And this corner attaches. This safety is playing pretty high right here, all right? But he gets it up and over, and he, he's, he's, he throws this to the field, falling back, too. Barely gets there, but it does. Just such a nice play drawn up by Kyle Shanahan. Everything worked out there in base defense. Here is the Debo versus linebacker look. A lot of people were like, oh, how did he get Debo on a linebacker? A little bit soft right there. Okay, this guy crashes. You got two guys going back. Got to be a little bit better with that. All right. Look at the pocket movement. This is the thing. I mean, that's sweet. This is the thing about Purdy. He's got an elite at pocket movement. Truly. All right. Look at Juice running him down. Touchdown, baby. I love it. On the road, nothing better. Next play right here. Motion juice over. Juice played a lot this game. Kittle and Juice. Wives were happy at the game. You love it. Heavy play action. Hey, what do you know? Heavy play action, wrap route. This is like day one install for them. It's called a streak. You're streaking down the middle of the field, and you have a five to seven step route route, wrap route, depending on what foot is up. And it's just it's lead week and it's timing, and you just trust it and let it freaking go one two three four five he's already throwing it linebacker linebacker 
look at this middle of the field that is wide open. It's exactly where our guy Ayuk goes. This is where Ayuk made a lot of hay last year with this. I like that they're starting in what looks like a two tight end look, motion over, getting to weak. Watch these linebackers and nickel. First of all, why are they why are they playing nickel to 21? But watch all these guys. Every single one of them haven't moved. If so, they've moved up. You even got 20 moving up. Like, what are we doing? Right? Like, this is crazy. This is a quarter safety to this side. Weak safety. And they're playing nickel to the field right here, which a lot of teams do. You lead right at it. He's already looking at it. You really just got to get this Mike linebacker. And then a dime. Second window. That's hard to do as a quarterback, truly. Watch him come off his flake right here. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Nice shot. Next play. Little motion in. Just, just always something on these plays. They stood in a lot of too high looks back here. All right. A lot of it was match. A lot of it was man. It all looked the same. They were playing different stuff out of it. Didn't really matter for Purdy and Shanahan. I mean, this stuff, how does he, I just want to know how he comes up with this because this is, I, I honestly don't think I've seen this play before. You have flat control going behind you, no play fake. You have Debo Samuel on a deep cross and you have Ayuk on a deep post. So 18 yards, you're only alerting this post for his quarters. That's usually the route, two man route. But I want you to watch Kittle. He sort of delays, all right? Loses this guy and then goes to the corner. So it looks like it's Sting Spear. Sting is this post. Spear is this deep cross. That's what we used to call it. But watch. I mean, I've never seen somebody chip a tight end, get lost, and still run a corner route. And a nice throw. I mean, just the play design... That was sweet. I'm going to use that in my kids' flag football team. So watch it right here. Kittle is the one that gets lost. 31. Isaac is going to go behind. Everything tells me, oh, it's Sting, Spear. And Kittle's like, there's no way I'm this open. It's only second and 10. And these guys are so far back because they're worried about it. He just continues to throw the ball deep. Look at the pocket movement, too. This is what stands out to me this year about Brock Purdy. Able to move in the pocket, guy in his face, deliver a shot. You love to see Kittle does not ever go out of bounds. He wants contact. Next play. Oh, this is sweet. Touchdown. Watch George Kittle down here. I cheated. I, I watched it before. So nice. So a few things. Going in motion to see man zone. Second thing, you're going to have Debo come in, stock this middle linebacker, and go up what we call a pipe route. That's the first read in cover two. You have this corner route, and this corner route by Kittle, all right, is just to hold this safety right here. That's all it is. All right, and when he holds this safety, you're supposed to be able to hit Debo. And when you hit Debo, okay, up the middle, let's run it. If for some reason this Mike linebacker gets depth to cover Debo, boom, then you hit Jennings on the whip route. Purdy said, you know what? I'm looking at this corner and I'm seeing there's nobody covering this corner route and I'm going to rip it. Golly. I hope they show this view enough. So really your read is, is zero. If zero gets back on the pipe route, on Debo, you can't even really see, but we'll see this. There's Debo. Look at this. I mean, it, it, it's blurry, but just through the outstretched hands, Purdy made this is one of his best throws of the year. Let's see where his eyes are. Look how calm he is in the pocket, too. Like, that's sweet to me. One, two, three. Uh, uh, throw. That's a good pause right there, Chase. Ball, hand, white glove. Ooh, that's one where 
you get a little bit worried right there. One by three formation again with juice. So they deployed 21 personnel like 11 personnel, right? Look, I get it. It's a hold, but this throw, it's a, it's a, it's a hold because this guy's coming down right here. And this guy has a bite route, a corner stop. I just, I couldn't believe the throw when I saw it. And I know it's a penalty, the pocket movement. Okay, he's already coming out of his break. He goes to the corner three steps, comes back to the quarterback. With a guy right at his legs, he's able to make this throw. Come on now. It's wild. They ended up pressuring. Okay, center comes off. That's the hold, really the tackle. But also, he hit his arm. He's going for his legs, and you're able to throw with this guy getting held right here. Crazy. It's good work right there. I know it didn't count. Just want to show the throw. 23-17 right now. Now we got a game. They had a 20-point lead. It's 23-17. This is a must win for the 49ers. Oh, just, I mean, this, this looks easy. It is anything but. All right, clear route option to break in and then you have juice on this whip route so you're layering it cover two this is where they work in cover two which is crazy to me but he goes out and you're just throwing between this defender and this defender watch brock's eyes right here he's looking okay he's looking at this corner and this little sit route right here he wanted to make sure the corner doesn't attach and he wants to make this linebacker attach and look i mean it's going to be great. We're going to see the back view. This back, this back view will probably say it all. Because why? Is, I thought this was a no-look pass. It's, it sort of is. He's throwing in this window right here. He's looking to the right, right, quarterback vision, to try and get this nickel or linebacker or whatever in between. And, oh, my gosh. Was this a no-look? Let's see this view. Now we can really tell. Maybe his head was his going that way, but not his eyes. Let's see it. Come on. Here we go. Oh my lord, he's starting to throw. It's a no look in this window. Yep. Man, all these subtle things that you cannot see. The untrained eye cannot see. This is why we break down film for stuff like that. That is at next level. I didn't even see it the first time I got it. All right, here we go. We're going to break it down. Go ball. Okay, a little slant route. Juice is on a wheel. This guy running back is on an out. And then you have a stick and go to the nod. Stick nod means pretty much a seam route. Here's what I like about Brock Purdy on this one. He predetermines. He knows that they're playing man-to-man -man somehow, some way. He looks this guy off. This guy goes underneath the slant, clears open the window, for George Kittle, and he's still able to make the throw. And then they go and uh, Juice and him go and celebrate with the wives. Pretty cool. He's saying, "Come this way. Our wives are this way. This this next this backfield will be good." All right. You really just are trying to get that guy to go that way because you know two's covering. Right. Whoop. Kittle right there. Let's see it. Pretty. Pretty special. Look at him. And look at this guy fly. Opens up that huge space. Kittle just has to have a good good enough route. We got to make a perfect throw. Touchdown. Brock Purdy is playing elite, and he is special this year. Better than I've ever seen him before.